Hello, my name is Sarah, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Aiken Heads Fly Tying and Outdoors. Today I'll be tying a woolly bugger, a popular trout fly. I say a trout fly, but it can actually be used to catch bass, panfish, and just about anything else. Today I'll be tying it on a size 8, 2x long TCL streamer hook. You start by wrapping a black thread by about halfway down the hook. Cut the excess thread and continue wrapping till you get to the bend. Then you take some black marabou, which is a down feather from a turkey. You want to take a pretty sizable section of it. Try not to get any stem. And secure it to the hook using really firm wraps. Give the tail a few tugs to get any loose fibers out. If you have too many loose fibers, you want to take some more and tie them back in the same way. You do not want to have any loose fibers on the finished fly. Cut off excess ends of the feathers. This is a medium black chenille. You want to cut a piece about four inches off from it. Tie it in like so. Once again, using firm wraps so it does not come undone. Trim off the excess. Then you want to take a black, somewhat soft hackle feather. Does not have to be as large as the one shown here. Tie it in by the tip. Once again, very firmly, the hackle feather is slippery and you do not want it to come out. Trim off the tip. Don't have to trim it very close. You want to have some of the feather to hold on to with the thread. Wrap everything back, wrap the thread back to the end of the hook. Don't worry about the loose pieces, they will be covered over completely by the time the fly is done. Take the chenille and wind it around the hook covering the entire surface. Secure it with a couple of wraps. Trim off the excess. Then take the feather 
wind it forward so that it leaves the ends all sticking up to make the fuzzy body of the woolly bugger. When you get to the front, secure it with a few wraps and cut off the excess. And you'll want to make some more wraps at the head to form the head of the fly. You don't want to make it too big because you still be putting on the whip finish knot. I like to do two whip finish knots. It's true that one is sufficient, but two gives you some extra security there. Cut it off and apply head cement. Make sure the eye of the hook is clear. You might want to use a bodkin or the end of the whip finish tool to make sure that you don't have any head cement blocking the hole. Trim any wayward fibers. And here is your finished fly, the black woolly bugger. Woolly buggers can be tied in just about any variant under the sun. Here you have the extended body black woolly bugger, the purple and black woolly bugger, the white and black woolly bugger, chartreuse and black, yellow and black in two variants, blue and black, and all white with crystal flash, and the sparkly chenille. They can be tied with a weighted body, a bead head, or even on a saltwater hook for saltwater fly fishing. Thank you for watching, and any questions and comments are welcome.